Hey, it's makeup artist James Vincent here in New York City at Metropolitan Pavilion, the home of the makeup show. And I am so excited because what we're doing now is a series of videos where we're featuring some of our favorite The Makeup Show brands and showing you some of my must-have products and how I like to use them. The Makeup Show San Francisco Pop-Up Shop is happening next weekend, and I am thrilled to be joined once again by one of my favorite brands and sponsors, Muse Beauty Pro, where they're bringing in an exciting new range of blush palettes. Muse Beauty Pro is a San Francisco-based company that is taking education across the nation, and they are also curating a range of product that includes Ket, their own Eason Beauty, Viseart, and more that are the perfect fit into the Pro Makeup Kit. Viseart has a long reputation of creating hand-pressed shadows and colors that are the ideal palette for the Pro on the go. And Alphonse from Muse Beauty has partnered with Viseart to create the much-awaited blush palettes that every artist has been wanting for so long. And we are honored to have them launching exclusively at the Makeup Show pop-up shop next weekend in the Bay Area. From bold bright to soft shears to every contour color you need for the cheek, Alphonse and Muse Beauty are bringing you Viseart palettes that allow you endless possibility when it comes to blush. And I want to show you a few of my favorite looks for fall 2016. For fall 2016, one of my favorite blush looks is a soft wash of peach, coral, or orange to the highest point of the cheekbone. We saw this at shows like Gucci, where artists like Pat McGrath showed us the power of just bringing warmth to the cheek. Muse is introducing four palettes, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite looks using those palettes using only one blush brush. For the first look, I'm using the Rose Coral Palette and the G53 Blush Brush, and I'm going to take just the soft peach color and hit it at the top of the cheekbone. Another look that we're seeing a lot of for fall 2016 is a pink wash of color towards the apple of the cheek. Pinks, reds, anything that looks like blood flushing to the surface is a great way to give a little sexy warmth. We saw Dick Page use this at a number of shows as well as James Bomer from NARS. And what I'm going to do is use the Plum Palette and just hit a soft rosy color across the apple of the cheek. Now you can wear that on its own, but when you combine it with the peach I've already applied, you get the perfect young Hollywood flush. For this look, I'm using the tip of the brush, applying it directly into the color, onto the cheek, and buffing it in a circular motion so I get a really soft hit of color. Contouring is something that has captured everyone's imagination for the last few years. And with the Highlight and Sculpt palette, Muse Beauty is giving you every shade you need to get that soft definition. Contour was not created by reality television. It's something we use as artists every day. And what I'm going to do is use the same G53 brush, but press it into a fan shape so that I can hit up into the cheekbone with a soft, taupe shade that looks like the shadow of a tree. This is what's going to give me my natural contour and allow me to let my color really show because I'm shading and sculpting the face in front of me and not just following the lead of a reality TV star and their look. When it comes to contour, it's not just about adding dark. You also have to add light. So I'm going back into the Highlight and Sculpt palette on the tip of the brush, and I'm hitting it into a soft shade that has just a touch of shimmer. I'm bringing that onto the higher point of the cheekbone, and that's going to give me lift and light, but also ensure that my colors, my shape, and my shading look more natural for camera or for everyday life. The last look I want to show you is a look that's on everybody's lips, and that is a bold blush application called Draping. 
inspired by makeup artist Way Bandy and some of his signature looks from the 70s on music artists and celebrities like Farrah Fawcett and Cher. This look is bold color and we haven't seen it, especially in America, in a very long time. For me, I still like to use neutral or soft shades to contour, and I like to use blush to give color or warmth to the skin. So I'm going to work over the contour I've already applied to show you my favorite way to drape color or use blush to give dimension or just a point of interest. For the draping look, I'm going to the Orange Violet Palette from Muse Beauty and Viz Yard, and I'm going to use two colors in the same color family, one of them lighter and one of them darker. I'm going to take the darker shade and bring it from the temple down towards the apple of the cheek, right along the cheekbone, and then to make it look soft and a little bit more modern, I'm going in with a lighter shade in the same color family on the tip of the brush and buffing it a little bit higher to blend it out so there's no hard lines or aggressive 80s dynasty looks. It's a soft, modern fashion application. Blush is a great way to add finish or polish to any application, whether you want a soft natural look or you're choosing to do a bright, bold look. Blush is a great way to achieve it, and these new Viseart palettes from Muse Beauty Pro are an excellent addition to any makeup kit. I showed you three very different looks from very soft to very bold using the same palettes, and their versatility allows them uh, endless possibility. One of my little tricks, if you're trying to master bold or bright blush for the first time, bring a little bit of foundation over it. It's a great way to get the blush to look like it's flushing through the skin and soften down those hard lines as you're teaching yourself these new techniques. To see more from Muse Beauty Pro, to see more makeup education, to get your hands on discounts from so many pro brands, and to meet some of your favorite artists and biggest brands in the Bay Area, come on out to the Makeup Show pop-up shop in San Francisco next weekend. Tickets are available at www.themakeupshow.com.